What up, everyone? It's your mom's favorite bubbler, the big wise bubbler here. And today I'm going to show you how to integrate Google Calendar into your bubble app without freaking plugins. I literally cannot stand plugins uh, because they never work. And if they do, they don't give you enough flexibility. So we are going to work in the API connector, give you full control over your integration. Um, if you want to skip this video, I do drop a link, a paid link to my editor, um, and you can copy and paste all the API calls you need, but I will go over every single one in this video. I'm going to split up this video into six approx, this intro, and then we will dive in to every single API group connection. So let's jump in. So first of all, um, let's go over kind of the documentation. This is the main documentation API reference. I will leave a link to this in the description. And essentially here we have a bunch of groups of API that I'm gonna go over. The um, ACL, which is the access rules. Um, so giving access to calendar, calendar list and calendars. Um, and I will not go over channels, colors. It's just one call, very easy events and um, free busy, and then I will not go over settings. But essentially, that's what we're gonna go over in this video. I'm gonna take each group at a time and go over every single call and kind of the fields that matter for them. Um, and then at the end, I will summarize it. So let's just have a look at how these groups matter and how they tie together. Google gives us this interesting um, kind of infographic where you have a user, the user has a access rule to access a calendar. Um, and so that's the access rule API. The user has a calendar list that contains a calendar list entry that references a calendar. Um, so it just, it doesn't, shouldn't matter to you. The only thing that matters is the API calls and you'll see how they're a little different. And then obviously a calendar contains an events and events invites attendees. All right, so let's jump in without further ado. Um, to the first API group. And as you can see over here, I organized all the APIs according to um, how they are. So in Google Calendar access rules, I have all the API calls related to that. Last note here is if you haven't seen my video um, that I will leave in the description or in the first comment, or I'll try to insert in this video at this point, is the Google manual OAuth um, video I did accessing Google APIs with a uh, refresh token please, please check out that video. You won't be able to make these calls without knowing how to do that. 